I started on the wing today. Uh, straight away, I ran into, wouldn't say problems, just things I had worried about. I'm going to have to hand haul this. I don't know any other way to do it. As soon as I took the servo out of the package and dropped it into the wing, there was obviously a problem. It's much smaller than the opening is. I'm not just going to hot glue it down there. So that means the little parts that I had seen in the kit are needed. And you can see there's three pieces in here. Bottom piece, two side pieces. These are keyed with a long and a short key. Short key goes here, long key goes here. That produces this. A little place to mount the servo. At first I put it in there like that and this area of wood right here, well let me show you what happens if you do it like that. Although the servo does fit and this will go down in there yeah. Of course it won't when I'm trying to get it to. There you, go. you can see right here this wood is going to stop the movement of the servo horn a little bit in that area. So I found if you just turn it around then everything goes in very well. This wire comes out of there and that goes in and there. That looks like that's just going to be beautiful. So, the little wooden parts that I had found are definitely needed. Now, I did run into just a little bit of other problems. The wire on the servo goes over to the wing opening and stops about two inches in, which is kind of going to be a bummer. Uh, because one of these big joints is going to be inside here in this slot someplace. We'll have to work that out. So I went over to my uh, parts and got some 12 inch servo extension cables and you can see now it only comes out of the fuselage uh, wing half about four inches what is this oh that's another one so a little bit of a disappointment there but then i remembered wait a minute there's two servo extensions in the kit that came with the X8. And if we look at these, these are a little bit of a problem too because they're 24 inches, two feet. So if we connect these, oops. And as you can see, we're going to have lots of <laughs> servo cable on the inside of the fuselage. Actually, about 14 inches of extra cable inside the fuselage. I have got some 20 inch servo extensions, but that only drops it back to about here and there's still a good almost 10 to 12 inches inside the fuselage that may be the way it has to be I may try to order some 15 inches for this real quick on Amazon we'll see but other than that put the servo in 
put the linkages on that. I do have the little winglet for the end of the uh, wing tip out here to put on. Like I say, do some linkages on the servo control horn and break the uh, aileron loose because it's not cut here on the other end right now. And I'll leave it that way so I can set it that way with the linkage before I break those connections on either side of the aileron. Ah, I guess I'm going to stop and look for some shorter servo extension leads. Well, I did order some leads that were 18 inches. That'll save me six inches. Give me a selection. They arrive tomorrow. So went ahead with this and got out the other little wooden part for the other side for the servo holder. Got it glued up. Got both of them glued up. Just a little CA in them. So the servos could go in them and get installed in the wing. Got both wing halves here uh, ready to install the wings. Uh, let me look at this one over here. I put a piece of tape right straight down this groove so I can put contact cement on all of this and then take this tape off and there'll be a portion either side of that groove that has no glue in it. <sighs> Again, here's the very small area that I'm going to have to take a lot of pressure on that side. I guess this side will do most of it. Same over here. This is just ever so slightly larger and I guess gluing it out here is going to have to take a lot of the strength for keeping the wing together with the spars in there. Uh, you can kind of see down where this groove will be inside the uh, when this is closed up. There's another piece of tape right there where I don't get any glue on this portion when I glue it up. I'm going to glue it up with an acid brush. I'm going to use this. It's Weller's Weldwood contact cement. This is some mean, nasty stuff, let me tell you. I've used this on a lot of stuff. This can's almost gone. It's what I put together the Nano Sky Hunter over there with. And where it's glued together with this stuff, and it's about the exact same kind of foam. That's why I'm going to use this on this portion of it. Is uh, Once it's together, it doesn't come apart. One strange part about this glue is, is you brush it on, then let it sit basically almost dry and then you put the two parts together and they bond instantly as soon as those two glued areas touch they seem to be dry but when they touch each other they fuse together it's amazing stuff uh my problem is is i can't wait for this to completely dry with this because this has to go down inside the wing half and i don't want it touching with it up this high and welding up before it's pushed down in there so I'm going to have to try to put the glue on it just really fast. And as fast as I have the glue where I want it, uh, close it up. And let it cure that way. Which is not the exact recommended way with this contact cement. You're really supposed to let both sides dry. So... 
like I said, I'm just afraid this area in here someplace will touch just barely and it'll stop it from sinking down. You can see that piece is might be able to see it. It's thicker here than it is out here even. And I've thought about trying to put it in out here and going towards that. But the truth is, is no matter where it touches, it pretty much is going to stop right there and be glued right there. Uh, Got to be really, really crazy careful with this stuff. But once it does glue up, it's there forever. You're in a... I broke a rudder in half rather than a glue joint with this stuff on the Nano Sky Hunter. So now I guess we're ready to, I'm going to hot glue the servo to the plywood and then hot glue the whole thing into the uh, servo hole for it. Uh, I could say the servo extensions come tomorrow. So that should let me start buttoning these up tomorrow. Got to dig a place in this one over here for the uh, antenna. I'll talk about that when I get ready to do that one. Mostly working on this side right now. The, the easy side first. All right, we'll do a little hot gluing. Well, rats, I finessed myself. I forgot to put the control horns on the two servos before I glued them down in the wings. Uh, that means I'll probably have to dig out a little angle to put in the screw in and the control horns. I've done that on several of these other models around here. There's no big deal with that. The control horns they send with this and the servos. Servos, I guess, are metal gear because they're metal canned and the uh, control horn uh, that the company sends is also made out of metal. Mm, aircraft aluminum control horn. Uh, I'm not sure it's the one that comes with the servo when they get it because the rest of the servo parts are in there in a separate bag and this is separate from that. So I should have put the control horn on it before I hot glued the servos in. So now we're waiting on the extensions to come from Amazon to bring the servos out of the wings close up those two openings then I'll do my linkages and the winglets on each end winglets are a little strange okay I'm gonna shut that off right there and close out this video it's late Tuesday night 20 minutes till 9 Tuesday night uh, I've got a doctor's appointment Thursday. Saturday, we're going to Spartanburg, South Carolina to a Steve Martin and Martin Short uh, comedy show. Uh, and we're coming back Sunday and packing and leaving early Monday morning for the beach for about four or five days. Four-ish. Next Friday, uh, Pam's got to do a presentation at the college she works for in South Carolina. It's just an hour away from the beach, so we're going to go to the beach first and <clears throat> stop back by her presentation on the way back. Spend the night there. Get up the next morning and on the way back. <laughs> Stop in Greenville, South Carolina and go to the Peace Center to see a uh, play, The Lion King. Uh, let's see what we've been to a couple of plays lately. Two, maybe three. One of them was a bust, one of them was okay. Uh, we're still feeling out if 
or play type people. <laughs> uh, so after this video, it's going to be a while before we see another one out of this. I will get the extensions tomorrow. Mm, I don't know that I'll close up these wings before I leave to go to the beach next Monday. More than likely will. Might pub publish a little video depending on what I get done on Wednesday. Won't have a lot of time on Thursday with the doctor's appointment. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.